guys and welcome back to G's Autos. Thank you so much for tuning in. Well, I must say it's feeling pretty good at the moment in regards to uh, the Starlet. Uh, so we're getting to the more exciting and fun stuff to do with the build. So up till now, it's just been focusing on the maintenance, getting the car up to scratch mechanically. Um, soon we'll be putting in the, uh, the light and flywheel and the um, heavy, heavy duty clutch. And then uh, during this time, we've also been accumulating some of the Haltech gear that's going into the car. So we, on this video, we're going to do an unboxing of the uh, Haltech IC7. That's the instrument cluster, 7 inch. And we're also going to be taking a look at the other bits and pieces that I've got. So I must say a big thank you to Tim and Peter, EDFI Logic. Uh, thanks for your time, guys, for um, chatting to me about the build and what we're going to do. And um, for also for hooking me up with all these pieces and organizing all that for me. I really do appreciate it. So what we've got here is the... Uh, the basic wiring harness. So that one will be going in. There are different um, wiring harnesses that you can choose from. So when we go through and put all this into the car, um, we are going to talk about why we selected these particular pieces for this project. Uh, just so you've got a better understanding of, of, it's not just throw anything in, there's particular pieces we wanna throw in to suit our build. Um, we also got the wideband, wideband sorry, O2 sensor. And we'll, we'll unbox all this and take a look at everything, guys. Um, we've also got the Haltech Elite 750 ECU. Very cool. And last but not least, the IC7 Dash. So uh, we're gonna, I'm going to pop away from this side of the camera and we're going to go through all these pieces in a bit more detail, give you guys a better idea of what we're looking at. And um, so yeah, guys. I hope if you if you want to see more on the uh, on the starlet, please feel free to subscribe and uh, like the video. Uh, so once we get all this installed, then we can start looking at the uh, at the performance side of the engine and so forth, and then start working towards achieving our goals there. Anyway, enough out of me. Uh, let's get into having a look at all this uh, fun stuff and um, happy days. Okay, guys. Here is our stack of Haltech goodies. That are going in the car. Alright, let's start with the uh, wiring harness. Okay, as mentioned earlier, this is the Haltech Elite 750 basic wiring harness. So as you can see, some of these connectors are already terminated. And there's a whole bunch of connectors which aren't as yet. And obviously when they go in the car, they'll be terminated once they are connected to their... Uh, corresponding sensor everything is uh, labeled which is fantastic makes it easier if you're doing this yourself however I am NOT doing this I'm giving this over to Tim as he knows exactly what he's doing and I think that's better off for everyone especially the car all right now this particular harness retails for this much Okay, now, one thing to point out is if you are, what we've got up next is the, uh, the Elite 750, the ECU. Let me spin that around. So, if you buy the 750 and the harness as a bundle, you will save yourself, I think it's around $149. So, for this particular ECU you're going to pay this much and if you um, buy it as a bundle excuse me for a second guys if you're going to buy it as a bundle you'll spend this much all right so let's see what we get in amongst all these goodies so obviously we've got the uh, ECU itself it's finished very nicely it looks good it feels good um, but that's what you would expect from a premium product and that's what Haltech is so we'll just have a look under this one here just bear, bear with me for a sec guys this will be where we connect our cable in to tune and there's our cable there so we'll have a look at what else is in here so we've got a it looks like a rubberized um, USB stick so I'm guessing that has software on it um, and probably a place to store your different tunes that you want to load onto the car. From memory, I think this one can um, store two different tunes. 
but Tim will update me on that as we go through installation. There's your USB cable for plugging into the ECU. Plus we've also got your Elite 550 slash 750 quick start guide. And this one here, let's unfold this one and have a bit of a look. Just bear with me for a sec guys, just doing this one handed. Okay, let's move this stuff over here. So here we've got the Elite 750 Premium Universal Wiring Harness Schematic Diagram, whichever you'd like to call it. Very neat and tidy. And then on the other side we have the Universal Wiring Harness. Once again, everything neatly laid out for you. All right. So this is, look, this is really cool getting to the exciting part of all this and it takes a long time to save up the money to buy all this kind of gear. So very, uh, very excited to say the least. And last but not least, you also get your very own Howtech sticker. Everyone loves a sticker. Okay, let me clean up all these bits and pieces. Bear with me for a sec, guys. Okay, what we've got next is the WB1 Single Wideband Controller Kit. Okay, so let's take this one out of the box and have a look. So we've got a cable there with some connectors. We've got the O2 sensor itself. Looks, uh, yeah, just looks good quality. Everything's finished nicely, which is what you'd expect. Once again, premium product. And we've got a module there. Let's see if I can take that off. Just bear with me. And there's the module there. Okay, I just like all the way these cables are finished. Very professional. Oop, let's give you a look at the back there. Yeah, everything's good quality, nicely finished. And we've got another cable in there. That's all terminated, ready to go. And your wideband controller, quick start guide. Okay, so let's pop all this stuff back in the box. Now, the normal recommended retail on this particular piece is this much. So our tally so far on these couple of bits is this much. As you can see, it adds up, but you are buying quality gear. All right, this one, I'm. I, this was a last minute purchase, um, but I'll tell you what, I'm very, very happy with it. Um, I'm, I'm just really looking forward to getting all this stuff in the car. Some really nice upgrades. So what have we got in here? So we've got the Haltech product range, all the goodies you could ever want, ever need. So that's nice to put a catalog into, a, into the product. Uh, we've got our IC7 quick start guide. I love good clear diagrams, photographs, in manuals, handbooks, all that kind of stuff. And there's the unit itself. So these buttons feel really nice. They've got a, you can feel them depress. Not sure if you can hear that. So it's got a nice metallic type, type finish. It's quite weighty actually. I, did, I wasn't too sure how much weight I was expecting, but it's, it's fairly weighty. So I haven't got anything organized yet as to how I'm going to position this in the dash, but look, yeah, look, I'll cross that bridge when I come to it. I'll just get something fabbed up. I know some people, some places possibly make uh, inserts for these for the dash. 
But um, we'll see what happens. But yeah, that's that's really nice. I like that. I'm really looking forward to getting that in the car. Now, I'll just pull out this box. And we'll just see if there's anything else lurking under there, just in case. There is some bits in there. And there's some bits in there. Let me just put the, um, the camera down. We'll take a look. All right, in box number one. There was this cable with those connectors. Looks like your CAN bus. Another cable there. All right, in the second box, there was this connector. Another USB stick. So I'm guessing with this particular um, product, the IC7 dash, is that there's possibly firmware that gets upgraded into this. Possibly that's why you've got the, um, the USB stick with a lot of um you know screen type devices there's there's firmware to be updated so i'm i'm guessing that's what that's for nice big howtech sticker it's a very nice looking sticker that i'm guessing that's a uh, for your key ring that's a nice touch i like that just a little bit extra for you for buying that cable another sticker Oop. Another sticker there, and some pins. So there you go, guys. That's everything that's in the box. Uh, like I said, this takes a long time to save up for um, for all these products. I wanted premium products going into the car. One better quality, longevity um, is going to give us good control over the car. Um, all this gear is going to future proof the car as well depending on what we do and where we go with it um, so just laying a really good platform so the IC7 dash it normally re uh, retails for this price and um, so this is how much I've spent all up on all this gear so yeah look it was worth the wait um, I've had this stuff sitting around for a few months just um, getting everything together and waiting around to um, for Tim to get a, a time slot for me to get the car in there, which I, I, I really appreciate. Um, and so, like I said, I'm just super stoked all this stuff is going in the car and um, can't wait to get it in and then start making some changes. So guys, if you're interested in watching the um, the startup build and watching us make it go, watching, watch us, sorry, make the car go faster and faster, um, please hit the subscribe button. That would be absolutely fantastic. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And um, as usual, I'll see you guys on the next one.